Hi, I'm Sherry Stump. Thank you for joining me today. I'm reading from the devotional book, God's Amazing Grace by Ellen White. Today's reading is November 16 on page 328. The title of today's devotion is In Debt. In Matthew chapter 6 and verse 12, it says, Forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. A great blessing is here asked upon conditions. We ourselves state these conditions. We ask that the mercy of God toward us may be measured by the mercy which we extend to others. Christ declares that this is the rule by which the Lord will deal with us. If ye forgive men their trespasses, your heavenly Father will also forgive you. But if ye forgive not men their trespasses, neither will your Father forgive your trespasses. Matthew 6, 14 and 15. Wonderful terms! But how little are they understood or heeded? One of the most common sins, and one that is attended with the most pernicious results, is the indulgence of an unforgiving spirit. How many will cherish animosity or revenge and then bow before God and ask to be forgiven as they forgive? Surely they can have no true sense of the import of this prayer, or they would not dare take it upon their lips. We are dependent upon the pardoning mercy of God every day and every hour. How, then, can we cherish bitterness and malice toward our fellow sinners? The fact that we are under so great obligation to Christ places us under the most sacred obligation to those whom He died to redeem. We are to manifest toward them the same sympathy, the same tender compassion and unselfish love which Christ has manifested toward us. He who is unforgiving cuts off the very channel through which alone he can receive mercy from God. We should not think that unless those who have injured us confess the wrong, we are justified in withholding from them our forgiveness. It is their part, no doubt, to humble their hearts by repentance and confession, but we are to have a spirit of compassion toward those who have trespassed against us, whether or not they confess their faults. However sorely they may have wounded us, we are not to cherish our grievances and sympathize with ourselves over our injuries. But as we hope to be pardoned for our offenses against God, we are to pardon all who have done evil to us. As we come to God, this is the condition which meets us at the threshold that receiving mercy from Him, we yield ourselves to reveal His grace to others. Thank you for being with me today. Please join me tomorrow when we'll read about being in the school of Christ. And may God bless you abundantly above all you can ask or think.